Hello, welcome to BioGrace TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Zimbabwe got her independence with her name derived from the Great Zimbabwe, an ancient city. Zimbabwe means stone houses in Shona language. Zimbabwe gained her independence from the British on the 18th of April 1980. The day marked the end of the long-awaited freedom that had claimed many lives. The colonial journey spanned for a century, 1890 to 1980. Before this event, the country was formerly known as Southern Rhodesia. This dates back to 1890 when the British Cecil John Rhodes and his South African company ventured into the land in search of gold. John Rhodes at this time met with local authorities and British officials which helped them obtain mineral rights in the land that began the exploration in South Africa and also marked the beginning of colonial invasion. Rhodes' exploration of the Southern Africa was met by the local war forces. The locals, led by Chief Lobengula, struggled to keep the white invaders out of their land but it was unsuccessful. Rhodes Company, British South African Company, BSAC, invaded the Indembele Kingdom and a new colonial rule made it to be seized eventually. The new acquired kingdom was shared by Rhodes Company and the other parties involved in the invasion. By 1893, Ndembele land had become a white man's property as the original owners were no longer in charge of their lands. The people didn't stop in their attempts to protect their land and resist European occupation. In 1896 to 1897, a military organization was formed to destroy white people and this brought few results. 10% of white colonizers were killed in the rebellion and this seriously affected the European economy that was facing a collapse in 1896. The fear of future rebellions made special areas to be created for the original inhabitants by the settlers which were controlled and avoided by the white colonizers. The British settlers created two areas where the whites and blacks had to live separately. The whites were the affluent class while the blacks were forced into the lower class. At a point when the colonizers lost hope to find mineral wealth which have brought them to their new colony, land ownership soon became their interest. Since the inhabitants are not familiar with legal property possession, the settlers used legislative approach to claim the land which was no legally possessed by anybody. In 1923, the settlers transformed Rhodesia into a British crown colony without the participation of Africa representatives. Later, Britain granted independence to its former parts such as Northern Rhodesia which became Zambia and the Nyasa land which became Malawi. However, Southern Rhodesia was left out because it had problem with the lack of guaranteed majority rule. In 1965, Southern Rhodesia had their own government which was led by a white segregationist government after Ian Douglas Smith made a unilateral declaration of independence UDI from Britain. The British government had earlier made majority rule a condition for the independence of Southern Rhodesia from Britain. Smith followed the UDI by declaring Rhodes a republic, which however did not have the backing of the international communities. Attempts were made in the late 1960s and early 1970s to reach settlement between the British government and the Rhodesians. Nationalist parties, the United African National Council UANC, was founded in 1974. While in 1976, two other African nationalist groups, the Zimbabwe African People's Union ZAPU, and the Zimbabwe African National Union ZANU, were formed. The two parties are led by Joshua Nkono and Robert Mugabe, respectively. In April 1979, a general election was held. The two nationalist parties chose not to participate as majority rule has not been established then. 
Bishop Abel Muzorewa, leader of the United African National Council, UANC, was elected the country's first black minister but was said to be lacking international recognition. The country was then taken back into the hands of Britain. The Australian government, led by Malcolm Fraser, considered resolution to be an acceptable solution. The Commonwealth heads of government met in Lusaka, Zambia in August 1979 and the British government also met with representatives of the various Rhodesian groups on 10th of September 1979 in London. This meeting led the British governor, Lord Somers, to arrive Salisbro, now Harare, the present capital of Zimbabwe, to administer Rhodesia. An agreement was signed, paving way for ceasefire and a transitional British rule until the holding of democratic elections and a few constitution implementing major rule with protecting minority rights. Election was held in February 1980 and Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe African National ZANU party emerged as the winner. The Republic of Zimbabwe was then proclaimed at a ceremony in Salisbury on the 18th of April 1980, where Robert Mugabe was sworn in as Prime Minister. The Zimbabwean independence has since then been celebrated on the 18th of April every year in the Southern African nation. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, Please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.